Hello everyone. Welcome to the Engineering Explain channel. In this session, I am going to discuss about the brief descriptions on solar energy. I will discuss here what is meant by solar energy, how much energy will be reaching to the earth's surface and what are the different methods where the, by using them we are going to convert the solar energy into the useful forms of the energy and their applications, all these things we are going to discuss here. That the first means what is meant by solar energy. The solar energy is the sun's radiation reaching to the earth's surface in the form of light or heat. We are receiving the light from the sun to the earth's surface and in the form of heat also. The solar energy is in the form of electromagnetic waves that will travel in the vacuum also. There is a atmosphere up to the certain distance, behind that there is no atmosphere and there in the space in the vacuum also that solar energy travels that is in the form of electromagnetic waves and the, some scientists that claim that that energy will be receiving on the surface in the form of energy pockets and the energy pockets those are called as a photons in the form of photons we are going to receive on the earth surface. Here we can see that one sun, sun's uh, whatever the radiations are there, those are receiving to the earth surface. Here the earth atmosphere is this one. Behind that there is no, uh, that is uh, uh, atmosphere is there, here is there. The so total it will be effective. And the some the radiations will be reaching to the earth surface, some will be reflected by the obstacles like the air as well as the that clouds what are present in the atmosphere and some are absorbed by them also and remaining will be reaching to the earth's surface some will be reflected back from the earth's surface that is the solar energy what we are going to receive on the earth's surface there are different conversion methods that is in the form of heat and light whatever we are going to receive that should be converted into a useful form and for that whatever the methods we are going to use those are the conversion methods the applications where we can use the solar energy that we'll discuss the one basic thing we should know that one one kilowatt per meter square or 1371 watt per meter square of solar energy reaching to the earth surface this much quantity per meter square it will be reaching to the earth surface so that we can estimate that one how much energy will be received on the total earth surface that will have in the next that how much quantity we are going to receive then here the solar energy what is there that is can be used for the direct heating applications directly that heat we can use for the heating applications and those can be converted directly by electricity electricity by the pv cells photovoltaic cells by using the photovoltaic cell we can convert that heat energy into the electricity that will be there the some the two methods mainly are there there are sub classifications also we are going to discuss next now we will take what is the brief description of this one first. Solar energy has the greatest potential of also the renewable energy sources. If only a small amount of this form of energy could be used, it will be one of the most important supplies of the energy, especially when the other sources in the country are depleted. If the other sources of the energy are de depleted, if you use this solar energy, particularly in our country, because here in India, the whatever the uh, sun rays we are receiving because of the tropical countries, okay, ours is more solar energy we are going to receive. That's why if you, the only few part of that one, if you convert into a useful form of energy, that is sufficient for the supply of the all the energy. How much we are going to receive, that we will discuss later. The energy comes to the earth from the sun. This energy keeps the temperature of the earth above the colder space and causes the current in the atmosphere and oceans causes water cycle and generate photosynthesis in the plants. Not only energy, the other benefits also are going to get. That causes the current, that is the air flow, air current, whatever is there in the atmosphere we are going to get. And in the oceans also and causes the water cycle. Water cycle, what is there? Okay, here on the earth surface and sea surface, if the sun rays falls, 
it will evaporate the water content on that one that evaporated water in the form of steam reaches to the atmosphere there it will forms a cloud and later when becoming a, a cold okay then it will be falls as a rainfall then that is the again falls on the surface and see it will be collected and later again the it will be cycle will be continued that is called as a water cycle and generate photosynthesis in plants the whatever the food we are going to get for the all the living things human being as well as the animals okay all things the food what we are going to get that is from the plants that is a photosynthesis is one of the most important reaction on the earth which will provides all the facilities for the living things for the human kinds that is the photosynthesis provides that is a food a uh, shelter and fodder energy all the things to the living things humans and the animals the food whatever we are going to get from the plants that is from the photosynthesis only that is the photosynthesis is the reaction between the sunlight and the photo the chlorophyll present in the green plants in presence of a uh, water and oxygen and that forms a uh, carbohydrates and the carbohydrates will be in the form of uh, there is a plants or fruits seeds all these things what are there okay that's why the photosynthesis is one of the very important reaction on the earth okay which will provides all the needs of the living things that also by the solar energy and the other benefit that one what we are going to get apart from the energy the solar power where the sun hits atmosphere is about the 10 raised to 17 watts the solar power whatever is there in the form of radiation reaching to the earth surface it is about uh, reach, uh, atmosphere reaching that one 10 raised to 17 watts whereas the solar power on the earth surface is of 10 raised to 16 watts okay some power uh, some energy will be absorbed in the atmosphere it will become 10 raised to 16 watts the total world wide power demand of all the needs of civilization is 10 raised to 13 watts 10 raised to 13 watts that is for all the civilization what the quantity of energy is required therefore the sun gives the us 1000 times more power than we need 1000 times more power what we require that uh, we are going to get from the sun if we can use 5% of this energy it will be till uh, 50 times what the world will require if we only convert the 5% of the energy reaching from the uh, sun's energy that we are going to get the 50 times the more than energy what we require the energy radiated by the sun on the bright sunny day is approximately 1 kilowatt per meter square that i told already 1 kilowatt per meter square approximately we are going to get the on bright sunny day attempts have been made here to make use of this energy in rising steam which may be used in driving the prime movers for the purpose of generation of electricity you can use this heat for the generation of the steam and that can be run the generator to generate the electricity and however the on the account of large space required uncertainty of availability of energy at constant rate and due to clouds wind haze like that okay due to that there are some difficulties are so associated with this one large space is required an uncertainty of the availability that means we cannot predict that one who which the bright sunny day is there okay the season wise that uh, solar uh, energy varies and day and night cycle also it will varies that one okay due to that that difficulty is associated with this one the one of the method is generation of the steam the another method of that is directly converting into the that is electricity by using the photovoltaic cells then here what are the different applications where we are going to use this solar energy for our needs the applications of solar energy which are enjoying most success today are heating and cooling of residential building okay here in the winter season we requires a increase the temperature for the human comfort for that in the day whatever the heat available by the sun light that we can use for heat at the room in the night and at the same time the for cooling also we can use how the cooling is there 
that is some, some of the whatever the uh, air conditioning systems which are run on the solar energy those can be used for that one and here the there are two methods are there active and passive okay those anyone we can use that then solar water heating it is a very commonly used one of the application solar water heating this is used for either bathing or domestic cooking okay that commonly all we are going to use it solar drying at of agricultural or animal products okay here the air is heated and that will be passed from the grains of the agriculture products and animal products and there by we can remove the moisture and that is the solar drying solar distillation on small community scale if the whatever the water available is there if it is not uh, drinkable then we can distill it for the uh, to form it a fewer form to drink it and for that the solar distillation is the one of the system that can be used salt production by evaporation of sea water or inland brines okay here the at the sea shores the salt production whatever is carried out that is by using the solar energy only that water will be evaporated and sea water salt content in the water will be that is crystallizes and stores on the earth surface solar cookers these are used for the cooking of the foods okay solar engine for water pumping here the engine we can use that is engine means here the we can use the steam and that can run the turbine and the turbine can be directly connected to the solar pump and then thereby you can use that is a solar engine for water pumping food refrigeration some refrigeration systems which are run on the directly that is a heating and cooling methods also or by the electricity what is generated by the solar energy that can be used for the refrigeration system bio conversion and wind energy which are indirect source of solar energy that bio conversion means this one only that is plants which will grow that one that can be used for the energy as a biomass that's a bio conversion wind energy is also indirect source of solar energy almost all the energy sources what are there renewable energy sources on the earth except geothermal all are indirect source of the solar energy solar furnaces the solar furnace what we can use for the generation of the steam solar electric power generation the solar electric power generation what we can carry out by using the three methods there is first one is solar ponds the solar ponds here the large the water stored ponds are there those will be get heated and the hot water water is there that is used for the generation of the vapor of the some uh, low boiling point fluids and those can be used expanded in the turbine to generate the power steam generators heated by the rotating reflectors heliostat mirrors or by tor concept here the concentrated method some of the concentrated methods are used here here at the particular uh, that is a line the solar rays are concentrated so that that temperature will be increases and that will be get heated by this one and the steam will be generated or by the tower concept at the tower the water is circulated at the top and the surrounding by that one the whatever the reflectors are there those are uh, reflect the solar radiation to provide the heat required for the steam generation third one is the reflector with lenses and pipes for fluid circulation cylindrical parabolic reflectors these are at the center the pipeline is run and by the parabolic whatever this uh, reflectors are there those are used for the reflecting the sun's radiation to the earth center pipe then the pipe will receive the heat and inside the pipe whatever water if it is a flow then that will be get heated and its steam will be generated the next last one whatever is there told one it is very important that is solar photovoltaic cells solar photovoltaic cells those will convert directly the sun's heat energy into the electricity which can be used for the conservation of solar energy directly into a conversion of the solar energy directly into electricity or for water pumping in a natural agricultural purposes okay in rural agricultural purposes okay here for uh, water pumping in rural agricultural purpose also we can use or we can use for the domestic uh, electricity supply also we can use for the uh, this supplying the electricity to the grid also in our india nowadays the whatever the solar 
or uh, parks are using to generate the higher quantity of the energy that we'll discuss next one here there are more than 40 major solar power plants out there in india which generates at least 10 megawatt of power each will be 40 major whatever the projects are there each will produce at least 10 megawatt of the power what we can see here it is a larger quantity india's badla solar park is the largest solar park in the world in the world it is a larger solar power plant okay then it is producing about the badla is a solar park located in the badla a dry and sandy region in rajasthan and spans about the 14000 acres here the in the 14000 acres it is spread and it is producing the highest energy that we can see here in this table the most important the whatever the solar parks are which produce production capacity also we have discussed here first one is the badla solar park which is rajasthan 2245 megawatt it's the largest capacity in the world and powergrid solar park that's in karnataka 2050 megawatt karnul ultra mega solar park andhra pradesh 1000 megawatt np kunta andhra pradesh 978 Reva Ultra Mega Solar Park, Madhya Pradesh 750 Megawatt. Charanka Solar Park, Gujarat 690 Megawatt. Kumti Solar Power Project, Tamil Nadu 648. Anantapuram 2, Andhra Pradesh 400. Galivedu Solar Park, Galivedu Solar Park, that is Andhra Pradesh 400. And Mansur Solar Power Mandya, it is Monday 250 megawatt like this the installed years also mentioned here okay there is a recent year 2021 <coughs> NP contract is a 970 megawatt like this the solar power or whatever is there it is one of the very important solar energy here I am taken only the brief description about this one not in depth I have taken and then in the separately in the solar chapter I am going to take the in detail but in this you have to Come to know that one as what is their solar energy means and about its what is the some parameter concerned to it we have discussed that one and thank you for watching comment anything if you have want to explanation and subscribe engineering explained if you feel good that one thank you once again